Hey, good evening. Uh, we might as well get started. We have a fairly uh, light agenda for this evening's uh, meeting of the planning board. Uh, first of all, I would like everyone to take a look at the minutes from our prior meeting on June 21 of 2005 and ask if there are any comments or questions on those minutes. Move that they be accepted. Second. Yeah, there's been a motion to accept the minutes. It's drafted and it's been seconded. All those in favor? The motion carries. Uh, we have some correspondence uh, before us this evening, a letter from Mr. and Mrs. Heffenreffer regarding 349 Ocean House Road, a letter from the town attorney regarding the full private road review, a beach conference brochure, a main land use planning summit, and growth management act forum. Uh, under new business tonight, and the only agenda item is a pool private road review. Uh, Victoria Pool is requesting an amendment to the previously approved private road review of Old Mill Road to lift a requirement that easements be obtained on Boat Cove Road to preserve the existing loop road access section 16-3-2 road design and construction standards. Uh, we have a representative of the applicant here tonight and I would just ask that you bring us up to date as to why we're here and why the uh, request is being made. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, my name is Bob Metcalf. I'm with Mitchell and & Associates. And uh, we were here last time and received approval originally on May 17th. One of the conditions of approval was to gain access easements uh, with rights to the town to travel over Boat Cove Road so we could access Old Mill from this side of the property to basically create a loop coming around. Uh, Mrs. Poole, in endeavor to make that come together, it had some initial conversations before we came here uh, to the board and then when went back to the, the neighbors who were basically family members, or, uh, that they did not see the benefit of signing that agreement and allowing the town to have access over that as well as deal with maintenance issues. And I have in my file a lengthy number of correspondence, including emails that went back and forth between Maureen and a couple of the family members over there. And basically it came down, they didn't feel as a, it was a benefit to them to have the town have an access over Boat Cove Road. Uh, that is the one condition we're looking to have lifted from the prior approval. Uh, one of the conditions was to put the fire hydrant in uh, that would come down along this portion of the property, uh, which is lot three, uh, and the hydrant would be located in this corner here. Uh, the pools have granted an easement in this portion of their lot uh, to basically create the connection that would go over to Boat Cove Road. So at least from their side of the property, they had provided their portion of the easement that would ultimately connect over to Boat Cove Road. Uh, we have shown the turnaround, which was on a prior approved plan back in the early part of the 90s. We have shown that on there with the dimensional information. Uh, the town engineer had asked us to put a detail on the plan to change that over to uh, bituminous pavement. We had done that. Uh, in the submission we sent to you, uh, one thing we hadn't done was change the note on it made a reference to gravel. We have subsequently changed that. Uh, Mr. Harding also asked us to put a detail on for the fire hydrant and for the pipe section leading for the connection hydrant. And then a note to the plan uh, that uh, basically grants that it deals with the road maintenance and it's not a requirement of the town to uh, putting the town at uh, responsibility for maintaining the road. And that information was submitted to Maureen, and I believe your town attorney has approved the language of this and that. So essentially what we're back for is to lift the easement requirement uh, with the rights to the town over Boat Cove Road. Uh, she has done almost everything she can to try and convince everybody. I believe two family members signed is what it was? One. Well, oh, one. 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 There were three families. Right. And one family member, there were all signed. The other said they were all agreed to do it, but they didn't want to sign it. So basically, that's what we're asking for. And Maureen talking to everybody. <laughs> 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 Haven't that successful enough. Okay, thank you. Uh, we are uh, asked to simply waive one of the requirements for our prior approval. I'm just wondering if members of the board feel they have enough information to go on tonight or, or whether anything further is needed. My feeling is this is 
pretty close to a consent agenda item that we, we already have all the information we need. Um, but if anybody feels differently, I mean, David, you ready for a motion? Sure. Any, any, okay. Motion for the board to consider findings of fact. One, Victoria S. Poole is requesting an amendment to the private road approval of Old Mill Road granted by the Planning Board on May, five, uh, May 2005 to lift the requirement that emergency access easements over Oak Cove Road be provided, which requires review under Section 16-3-2, Subdivision Road Standards. Number two, the owners of Oak Cove Road have refused to provide the easements. Number three, the applicant has agreed to install a fire hydrant and provide emergency access easements that connect to Boat Cove Road in lieu of widening Old Mill Road. And number four, the application with waivers substantially complies with the intent of Section 16-3-2 sub Subdivision Road Standards. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and the materials submitted and the facts presented, the request of Victoria S. Poole to lift the requirement from emergency access easements on Boat Cove as part of the approval of Old Mill Road as a private road to be approved subject to the following conditions. Number one, that all other conditions of the original May 17, 205 approval must still be met. And number two, that the plan be revised for the comments of the town engineer in his letter dated 7-11-05. Okay, motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Morgan, I do have a copy of the mylar with the changes that we made that we should to Steve Hart and Steve get his response back and respond to his issues. So I can do that with you. I have to say I can't do this. I have to do this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. <laughs> a copy of a wreath in New Yorker with a picture of a fire hydrant and a, a, in the form of a thank you note. Thank you very much. Small thing, old no world go. <laughs> uh, thanks again and uh, good luck with the uh, project. Thank you very much. Uh, before we adjourn, I just did want to, I omitted to uh, welcome John Sorallo back to the board. We definitely missed you and we're very happy to have you back. And we're glad you came back for a relatively light agenda <laughs> meeting. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Move. Move. I second it. All those in favor? Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.